bullshit as soon as we start the action tonight. We got some really cool stuff for you tonight. If you're not following us on social media, that's your loss. <laughs> uh, specifically on Facebook, YouTube, Insta, Twitter. We got a snapper chat, but I don't know our snapper chat. So tonight, we have Marcus the Science Smith and who he likes to refer to as Charlie Hustle um, in singles match. This guy ain't no Charlie Hustle. This guy looks great. He's an athlete. He's good looking. He looks the part. He looks WWE NXT ready because you can tell he's green. But no, Marcus the Science Smith has us believing that this guy, this six foot four, 235 pounder, his Charlie Hustle, and he's been away for six to seven months, and he's been living the Marcus the Science Smith plan and taking that Marcus the Science Smith powder, and somehow the guy put on 35 to 40 pounds of muscle. He grew six inches. It's not comp, comp, I don't buy it. It's a bunch of BS. But we have no choice but to go with the facade. I guess at the end of the day, the guy looks the part. So you guys get to see somebody with some goal power. But I'm interested to see what happened with the real Charlie Hustle. I'm also interested to find out who this quote unquote Charlie Hustle is. And I'm wondering how long this narcissist, no, I'm going to go ahead and call him a psychopath at this point, Marcus the Kingsmith, can lead us to believe this BS. Uh, I do need a referee, though, a referee. You can't have wrestling matches without a referee. There he is, folks, Danny Dixon. Danny Dixon. This first match is 2-1 fall. It has a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Marcus the Science Smith, Charlie Hustle. I mean, he looks the part. But I don't care what kind of program he's on. I don't care who's life coaching him. There's no way on God's green earth that a man can grow four inches to six inches in six to eight months. Taking nothing away from him. Look at him. He's got great symmetry. He's a good looking kid. But it's not the original Charlie Hustle. That's all I'm saying. His opponent tonight in this singles matchup hails from the PPW Training Academy. He is our current and reigning King of the Iron Man, Rockstar Rosie. Now, let's uh, go ahead before these guys get started. Tell the tale of the tape. Across the ring, the first man introduced at six foot four, 235 pounds, Charlie Hustle. Got a lot of power. Lots of power. He's got power for days. Across the ring from him is a man who lives by it's not the size of the fight and the dog, the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight and the dog, Rockstar Rosie. Actually, that King of the Iron Man division here, that King of the Iron Man championship, has got his name written all over it. That's his kink, folks, endurance. He is an endurance athlete. This should be interesting to watch these conflicting styles meet in the middle 
in the middle of the PPW ring tonight. And as soon as the referee lets me know, I'm going to ring that bell. And we are off. The belt is not on the line. This is a 20-minute matchup, 20-minute time limit. It's 2-1 fall. It should be interesting, like I said before. Rosie does not want to make a mistake tonight. Because, my God, he never live it down if uh, this kid... Whoa! There we go, right there with the power game, right off the bat. That collar and elbow tie-up sent Rosie tumbling through the middle ropes. Was it a stroke of luck? Was it skill? Was it athleticism? He was able to land on his feet instead of hitting his body or any of his body parts on the concrete floor. Now, as you can see, Charlie Hustle, big grin on his face, proud of himself. And outside the ring is old half-shirt Marcus Smith, who's even more proud. He's acting like he's the one that's as strong at 6'4 and 235. And look at Rosie, drive, drive, drive. Whoa! That time, he did get more of the floor than he did the first time. And now, he may be outmatched, man. He may be outmatched. At least he is outsized. Uh-oh, he's got him by the skull. Oh, let's see what happens here. And there's Rosie and typical right by him. And a surprise, too. No, one and a half. One and a half. And uh, Rockstar Rosie, wasting no time, gets on that left arm. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. And look at that. Rosie has outsmarted him. He's got the left arm of the big man. Marcus the King Smith on the outside of the ring. Not a lot to say right now. Look at the reversal by the bigger man, quote unquote, Charlie Hustle. There's a second arm ringer right into the wrist lock. And Rosie's got to get creative. He's outsized again. Let's see. Whoa, there's one way. There's the other way. And now he's reversed the wrist. And he's got the figure for the armbar, if you will, on the left arm. Back again on Charlie Hustle. Marcus Stein Smith looking on. Dixon making sure there's no skullduggery or rule breaking in there. Uh oh, going for that power. He's going to try to slam him off the arm. But Rockstar hangs on. Truth be known, by hanging on to that arm, that body slam put twice the strain on that left shoulder and clavicle of, uh, of uh, Charlie Hustle. Just that move alone, he could have, uh, at the very least, separated that shoulder. There's a hip toss attempt. That was failed. Rockstar Rosie dug in like a mule tick, like a mule tick on the left arm of the bigger man. So if he can incapacitate that left arm, that's going to put uh, Rosie and Charlie Hustle. Well, maybe it is going to put him at about the same strength. I'm sorry. Charlie Hustle driving him back. He's got two seconds to break it. Nope, he's going to be a throw. Oh, but Rosie hangs on for dear life. And uh, how much can the left arm of quote-unquote Charlie Hustle take? He's reaching out to Marcus, but this isn't a tag match. Look at Marcus's face. I'm entertained by that alone. I love to see Marcus in discomfort. Marcus looks like when I was a little kid and he used to make me take medicine, that sour puss. He's backed him in again. One, two, three. He releases the arm. No, he doesn't. He still comes out on top with that left arm and Charlie ran out of stuff to do. So he's just gonna ram him back in again and hope that uh, there. As he fired him off, he's got him off the arm. There's a Beal throw. Once again, the size comes into play. Oh, but look at that, Rosie. Oh, he's going Luch on his ass. And he goes for a pin. No, he doesn't. He goes to cinch up that figure four. Back to that left arm, that arm bar, if you will. He's dug in tight up by the shoulder on the armpit. It's locked in. He's attached himself to it like a bull terrier. Yes, folks, the Bull Terrier, in case you don't know, has the strongest bite ratio of any domestic pet. 
I.E. Do you remember Spuds McKenzie? That was a Bull Terrier. And Rosie's a Bull Terrier here because he will not release that left arm. And here we go. Charlie Hustle fires him in. Big corner. Oh, and look at that. He gets out of the way. Drives Charlie Hustle in. Kind of sloppy. Here comes Rockstar. Lays an elbow in. You heard that man-on-man -man contact. Bulldog, and he's going for the win. Five minutes gone. One, two, no! Close, but no cigar. And Marcus looks like he's in as much pain as Charlie Hustle. <coughs> Excuse me, as Rosie goes back to that left arm. If it works, don't fix it. And if it ain't broken, don't F with it. And apparently that left arm is not broken, not yet anyway. Rosie hanging on, keeping that pressure on. The bigger man trying to hang tough. It's got to be upsetting. Shot to the stomach is another one. Right in front of the ref. The ref warns him. It seems like he's knocked the wind out of Rosie for how long? Let's see what happens here. He's shaking off that left arm. Oh, there's a nice strike. There's a second strike. Oh, and in the corner, the big man goes. And here comes Rosie again with another elbow. We've seen that already, Rosie. Oh, but we didn't see that. Once again, this Charlie Hustle is not as dumb as Marcus looks. Didn't fall for that bulldog a second time. It's kind of main Rosie's lower back. There we go, Charlie Hustle fires him off. Boom! That was a big tackle, better him than me, folks. Rosie's not ready to give in yet. Over the top to the floor he goes. And that gives Charlie Hustle some time to uh, shake off or get some blood flow back. And to that left arm, Marcus the Science Smith is like a gnat. Just on Rosie, throws him right back in. Referee saw nothing. And here we go, Charlie Hustle with a snap suplex. It was nicely done. Why isn't he going for a cover, though? Yes, we know you've got 20 inch or so arms. Go for the cover. And see, that's what happens when you brag, folks. Gave Rosie an opportunity to start firing back. Oh, but Hustle throws him out over the top again, and he's still holding that front delt, or those front delts on the left side. This time, referee's watching. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Rosie blocks the attack this time, and he just gets picked up by the head, by the jaw, by the chin, and uh, boom, there's a shoulder. And a sunset. This might do it. One, two, no. Those big thighs crush the ears of Rosie. Rosie is up first. And Rosie's trying to get on him, but he is the quicker of the two, and I told you he had more endurance. Going for that midsection. But the big man just shrugs it off, and now Rosie's back in trouble because that's a lot of man. Where's the beef? He almost got disqualified there. I think that was past five. The ref gave him a wide berth. Another Beal throw all the way across the ring. And Rosie now is in trouble. Four, the referee is really giving him a wide berth here. But I don't blame him. We kind of screwed you guys starting late. We didn't do it on purpose. We had technical difficulties here. Oh, that was a beautiful short arm clothesline. One. Two, no, that was all heart balls, if you like. Rockstar Rosie, and look at that, one, two, that's some tenacity, folks. And Rosie is struggling while Charlie Hustle goes to Marcus for advice. That might be the kiss of death. Well, who knows, I shouldn't say that because he's doing good in this matchup so far under the guys of Marcus. And here he goes for another cover. He's not hooking the leg, though giving Rosie the opportunity to kick out. He's still shaking off that left arm. Rosie really had his way with that left arm early on. Oh, and Rosie going after that bread basket, but one big ham hawk fist. And 
a stomp right to the short ribs. Another one. That'll knock the wind out of you. Let's see what he's going to do to him now. Uh-oh. I heard Marcus call for the torture rack, and there it is. There it is. After he softened up those floating ribs, he's got Rosie basically as his bitch right now. Must be nice to be young. Let's see how much endurance Rosie does have. Ten minutes gone. Rosie is out of harm's way for the interim. Nothing pretty about that. Charlie Hustle balance. He just fell right on his face. He goes to Rosie first. There goes Rosie outside the ring. He sneaks back in. One, two, no. Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. And here we go. Charlie Hustle, the first one up again. He's got uh, Rosie in the corner. Fires him into the Jason Conner again. This time Rosie outsmarts him and sits up. One, two, oh! Doesn't get any closer. These guys are getting tired though, both of them. Rosie's absorbed a lot of punishment. Charlie Hustle is tired from doling it out. Here's Rosie hanging in the corner, trying to catch his breath. Two feet into the chest of Charlie Hustle. Rosie goes to the top, for a second rope. Sunset flip, one, two, three. Your winner at 11 minutes and 8 seconds, Rockstar Rosie. Marcus, I need you. Come here. Yeah. What can I do you for? Exactly. That's you, man. Most people say, what can I do you for? And you know they're just being sarcastic. This guy, let me tell you right now, I got my hands on my wallet, and I know after talking with you uh, with the least amount of offense as possible, or as you can be in the situation, I'm going to need a shower, too. At least some hand sanitizer. You're greasy, man. Uh that is not Charlie Hustle. I can tell from their tone that you're taking with the science that you are just one of those hangers on. You're one of those, those folks watching at home saying, I am too insecure with myself to be happy about someone else's genuine success. That is absolutely 110% the real Charlie Hustle, the Charlie Hustle Everyone in PPW knows and loves. He's just evolved. He has just manifested within himself something really special. He has put inches on those biceps. He has, he has he's added to the tree trunks that we call his thighs. He's even grown six inches in the last few months. That's where you lose me. Now, first thing I have to say before doth the protest, how would I say that if I'm the one protesting? Before Be I protest, okay? Before I protest, I'm going to call you out on your eloquence. Did you ever see the movie The Princess Bride? It is one of my favorite movies. It is, right? So when I say to you, I don't think that word means what you think it means. You uh, you understand what I'm saying? I... I, I I hear the words coming out of your mouth, <laughs> but I don't understand which words you might be speaking of. Do, do you know what a narcissist is? That's with like three S's, right? All right, then. We'll go right past that, and we'll get right to the meat of the potato. And the meat of the potato is this. That's not Charlie Hustle. A human being, I don't care what program he's on. I don't care what kind of surgery he has. He can't grow four inches in less than a year. Listen, you're, you're, what I'm unless hearing. Unless he's seven years old. Uh, no, unless he's ten years old. Listen, what I'm hearing is an awful lot of what I like to think of as, as tooth bias. You took a look at those molars. You took a look at those absolutely piercing canines. And you said, those have to be veneers, Marcus. Marcus. That can't possibly happen to a man that size with teeth that crooked. And I'll tell you what, when you trust the science like Charlie Hustle has done, 
You, you take that muscle by Marcus protein, you sip that gorgeous, gorgeous spring water sourced muscle by Marcus protein. All water. right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm getting nowhere with this, okay? And I understand that. Uh, I've given you an opportunity to speak. Uh, we are trying to get subscribers, not lose them. So before we lose any subscribers due to your antics, I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and thank you for your time, sir. And I'm sure we'll see you later tonight when that tag team match goes down. And uh, maybe I'll get a moment before that tag team match. If you can behave yourself, have some respect for decorum, and we can find out why you're not wrestling tonight. Not now, not now, though. Save it, save it. All right, folks. Thanks for bearing with us. Please don't unsubscribe. This next matchup features two of Premier Pro Wrestling's classiest young athletes. Introducing first, your current and reigning Challenge Pro Champion. They call him the Relentless Jay Leon. Once again, before we get going, let me go ahead and uh, fill in the blanks for you. We know we don't have the billions of dollars to brand individually or as a company like World Wrestling Entertainment does, okay? Ref, would you be so kind as to remove that belt? I can tell you uh, these two guys are two guys I trust inside that ring to not go at it, throw any punches, break any rules, bite, kick, or anything else that... Uh, you know, would be considered as a legal no matchup. This is going to be a really good matchup. What you do have right there is Jesse Danger. It was just a year and change ago. Then you can read about it if you want to. Just Google search man hit on motorcycle in Rockford, Illinois. It was a hit and run accident. They still haven't caught the guy that hit him. He wasn't supposed to make it through the night. He did. Then he wasn't supposed to be able to ever wrestle again. Well, he's back. And he's been back for six months, and he's been doing it to it. This guy goes like this. Family, God, wrestling. That's the credo. Across from him is a young, hungry athlete by the name of the relentless Jay Leon. You guys deemed him that. We didn't give him that moniker. He didn't give him that moniker. And when he starts wrestling, you're going to see why. Like the song says that he comes out to, which was produced by his father, he never ever backs down stick with us and you'll see he doesn't never ever back down and let's go ahead and see tonight if he never ever backs down against jesse danger jesse is more well traveled than jay but jay is a little thicker a little bigger i say it every week he's all ass and shoulders this should be a good matchup so when the referee is ready to give me the iggy we'll go you'll get down to business here we go. 
And we are off, man. Jesse Danger, Jay Leon. This should be a good one. Nice show of respect early on. Jesse steps aside from the lockup and gets control early, but only for a second. The back and forth has already started. You might want to take some Dramamine if you're an old guy like me, because these guys are on that roller coaster right now. They're wrestling. Oh, nicely done. Yes, my friends, Premier Pro Wrestling. Look at Jesse. Whoa. And now he's got Jay locked into that figure four on the arm, forcing Jay down. And Jay's got to get creative to get out of this one. He's on, he reversed it on Jesse. We're already playing Can You Top This, my friends. Now it's Jesse's turn to impress us. Oh, but Jay must have heard me, man. Oh, nice nip up, and Jesse's got the wrist lock just like that. There's another kick for good measure. And look at that arm twist back into the figure four arm bar, if you like, on the arm. Like I said, it hasn't even been a minute yet. And uh, I need Dramamine, I'm motion sick, man. These youngsters, a lot of heart in there between these two guys, and I can't wait to see. Stick with us, because after this, they got a tag against, uh, let's see, Zero Gold and Charlie Hustle. Oh, Jameis pumps the brakes, pumps the brakes in the first Back in control, just like that. We're still not even 90 seconds into this thing. Jess is in trouble, but he's far from done. I know he's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Just got to get his feet underneath him so he can uh, combat this. I don't think he's going to tap out. I'm not saying that doesn't hurt. His left arm's in trouble. That figure four is a shoot. Look at Jess, though. Little engine that could. Let's see if we're going to break. Hey, nice clean break. Oh, not really. Irish whip by Jesse. He catches Jay. And Jay says, no, there's a DDT. And Jesse's in trouble, but he gets to the rope, so Jay can't go for that cover. Jay gives him propers. That was ring presence. And that's where you can see Jesse has more ring time than Jay. Jesse's taking that time. He shakes Jay's hand, gesture of uh, sportsmanship, giving him his propers, because Jay did, you know, almost put Jesse in that pinning predicament. Jay goes right back to that left arm. Jesse goes under. Oh, he went for the angle slam, and look at that. Counter, counter, counter. Nice back and forth here, and it's Jay Leon. It ends up back up on top in that left arm. Jess drives him back. Catches him off guard. That breaks the hold. Fires him in. Nope. Jay fires him in right with that left shoulder. Jess is feeling that. Jay, now would be the time to go for the submission, but Jesse knows that. I.E. going outside. Try to get some of that blood flow in. And Jesse catches him off guard. He was going to sunset. Nope, just a high knee. And here we go. Oh, that was a form of a bulldog cover. One, two. That was close, folks. And now Jesse goes back to the left arm. Jay's is struggling, man. He might be thinking about submitting here. Look at how hard Jesse's working. But look at Jay just leans into Jesse for the break. He fires him off. This time reversed by Jess. Beautiful Japanese arm drag. And then he went deep with that Ricky the Dragon steamboat style arm drag. Nicely done. Now I am not saying that was as good as Ricky Dragon Steamboats because nobody's was. But it was that deep style 
of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. It was Ricky the Dragon Steamboat inspired. Here goes Jesse again, and that's a nice, cool way. And look at that, into the short arm scissor. And Jay might have to tap. He might have to tap if he wants to keep his shoulders. Don't forget, guys, they still got a match to go tonight. These guys are gonna tag against each other later. Jay, though, transitions into that. And when he went up like that, it takes a bit of pressure off the front belts. Look at that. Jesse just uh, lengthened that grip. Reversed that grip a little bit, and that put more pressure on Jay, and he just gave up on that. Oh, Jay fires back with an arm drag. He fires back with an arm drag. Just five minutes gone. Just five minutes gone. Now, Jay is transitioning into an overhand wrist lock. Guys, have I told you yet about Premier Pro Wrestling on Pro Wrestling Tees? I haven't, and I'm sorry. Go check out our official merchandise shop, Premier Pro Wrestling and Pro Wrestling Tees. Jay's got one on there. Jesse's got one on there. We've got some PPW, Premier Pro Wrestling brand shirts on there. While Jay comes in and just squashes poor Jess in the corner, follows up with a snap. Here comes Jay. Double knees right to the collarbones. Good time to go for a pin, and he does one. <laughs> but out of principle, Jesse would not stay down for two. Both of these guys' left arms have taken a lot of abuse up to this point. Jay's on the arm of Jesse. He's not letting go. And he just keeps going in there with that tackle right into the front delts. And oh, that might do it. One, two, no. We'll see if Jesse can even use that arm. I think he can because if he couldn't use it, it would be hanging there. Instead, he's got it up at a 90 degree angle. That means there's some feeling in there. Jay into the corner hard. Jesse right in after him. Probably knocked the wind out of Jay. Even for a second, that might be all Jesse needs. Oh, right to the midsection and right to the ropes. Jesse's getting up to the top, scrambling, I would say. Watch this. Nicely done, reverse Frankensteiner. Back to that left arm of Jay Leo. Nicely done. This has really been an even matchup so far, my friends. And it's like I said in the beginning, Jesse's smaller and quicker. He's svelte. Jay is quick as shit. But Jay's got some more strength to him. Beautiful sidekick by Jay. Little leg up on the bicep elbow. He's not done with that left arm yet. There's another one. Yep, Jay's in trouble. Jesse going high risk. And yes, he caught it. And this might do it. Two. No, Jay was thinking about it. Staying down there. But Jay wisely takes a lesson from Jesse early and goes to the ropes. Giving himself even a few seconds. Uh-oh. There's a second one. But Jay... Fires back, you have to, he's gonna get no respect. Oh, Jay with the high knee. I think I would have done the same. I wouldn't say it's cheap. Schoolboy! No! Jesse kicks out. Jay Leon up first, gets right back to that arm, but he, before he gets it cinched in, Jesse's on him with that quickness. Jay ducks it. Nice back suplex, go for it, kid. This might do it. Two, no, two and change. Jesse's still very much in this match. Jay delivered those forearms to that left latimus, a shoulder. And he's just been wailing on that left bicep, so he's attacking the arm from both sides. One. And look at that, Jesse to the ropes again. No more he is in that ring. He will keep himself alive in this matchup. Jay goes in, he grabs the head this time. Backs Jesse in, Jesse reverses. Oh, beautiful version of the sky high, and Jay might be out. He hit the back of his head, but Jesse's real, and he can't capitalize off of it. Let's see what's coming. Oh, oh beautiful lung blower by Jay Leon. But if you notice, Jesse is positioned over by the rope, so it's not even worth going for a cover at this point. 
Jay's exhausted, Jesse's exhausted as we creep on to that 10 minute mark. See what I mean? Jay's gotta go for that cover anyway. Jay getting frustrated, but that frustration turns into trying to rally the troops. Irish whip perverse again. Swings right at the head. Jesse fouled him in and it backfired. This might do it. Two, no. Jay Leon, gotta be frustrating, but Jesse just knows where he is in that ring tonight. It's not that Jay's doing anything wrong. Jesse's counters tonight are great. 10 minutes gone, 10 minutes gone. You know, and it's not luck. Jesse knows where he is in that ring. He's had twice as many matches as Jay. Swing. Jay crunches it. Oh, but Jesse turns it into I don't even know what to call it. But come on. There's nobody here to break this up tonight. The Friday frenzies are shorter, folks. The Friday frenzies are shorter. I don't know what the motivation would even be. I don't even know what the motivation would be. Ref! Ref! I need you to keep Jesse and Jay back for a minute. Stay between them. Mark, get your silly mustache and come over here. What would your motivation be to run in on this match? You had nothing to gain. Your guys had nothing to gain. Are you trying to get out of the tag match tonight? With listen, these two? listen, we want a tag match and we want it. If you want a tag match, why risk disqualification? Listen. Why risk getting getting suspended what? by running in and jumping this listen, those two at guys the end of the who day, are having a great match? Listen, at the end of the day, last week in our tag match, what tag match? The people don't know. In the they main weren't event here. last week. What was the match? In the la last week in the main event, me and my ho beautiful horse face boy, Charlie Hustle. How, wait a minute, wait a minute. How is beautiful horse face boy a compliment? Listen, you're trying to confuse me using that, that, that word voodoo. It ain't going to happen. Last week, oh. as a result, as a direct result of Jay Leone's actions, I got this absolute, this hole drilled in the middle of my forehead. I had to spend six hours in the ER, Randy. And what was that result? And a handful of stitches. There's and still a still... hole in my head, which is why I'm not wrestling tonight. You know, when I was a kid and I would make mistakes, my dad would say, what's wrong with you? You got a hole in your head? You know what you just said about your own self? Listen, what's going on between my head, your dad, and my skull is none of your business. The fact is that across the ring from those two specimens are two absolutely unworthy jamokes. Who are you Who's talking think? about, your men or Jay and Listen, Jesse? don't try to twist these words, baby. <laughs> Charlie Hustle and that beautiful faced boy, Zero Gold, are absolute units. They are here tonight to finish what we started last week. They won a tag match against Relentless Jay Leone and Jesse Danger. They are going to stretch these boys. They're going to humble them. And we are going to be left the rightful oh. heirs to a shot at the PPW Tag Team Championship. Against whom? Soon. Who are the champions? The champions, of course, being the Sons of Thunder, Jake Hazard and Brandon Campbell. We have a tag team title match, and tonight we're going to make an example out of these two before that big match. Okay, well, listen, if I could bother you for one more second, my friend. If I could bother you for one second, who are you pissed at? Are you pissed at Jay Leone? Are you pissed at Jesse Danger? Are you pissed at me? Are you pissed at the American listen, language? Listen, at this point, at this juncture, this junction, this big old caboose that is body by science is pissed off at Jay Leone. He's pissed off at that moron rock star Rosie. And as a collateral damage, we're pissed off at that little hillbilly Jesse Danger. Hillbilly. So we, once again, we're going to make an example before we take what's ours when we beat the Sons of Thunder for the PPW Tag Team titles, if you let us have this tag match. All right, you make sure you put your boys in a corner where the rope is. In PPW, the tag rules apply. If you're not holding that rope, the tag does not count. Do you understand me? Marcus the Science Smith. I guess it's going to be zero gold uh, 
All right. All right, this matchup was scheduled tonight. <sighs> Corner closest to the camera, closest to the live stream. The mass man hails from Osaka, Japan. Zero gold. His partner tonight, you've seen him earlier, quote, end quote, I'm going to use quotes, Charlie Hustle. And the big mouth in the crop top, and I guess he has a hole in his head, Marcus the Science Smith. Across the ring, their opponents, the darker skinned gentleman, that's the relentless Jay Leone. And his light skinned brother, Jesse Danger. This match is 2 1 fall. This match has a 60 minute time limit. Referee has the smoke cleared. Are these guys ready to rock and roll? There we are, and we are off. Uh, I don't know. I think we gave you a lot of information, maybe too much information. Zero goal. Great command of the nerves where the glands are, where to attack. He's quick. Medium sized by wrestling industry standards today, but he has a lot of cunning. Now he's in there against Jay, and you know what? This is a great job. It is called tag team wrestling. Double DDT, and they're going for the win early here. One, two, no. That would have been great. That would have shut Marcus up, wouldn't it? He would have picked him in 30 seconds there. Now the team that makes the most tags is going to be the one that wins. Irish whip. Fine tackle by Jesse Danger. Brings him over. Look at that. They've cut the ring in half and they're tagging. Right now they're complimenting each other. Pretty good. Beautiful backsplash and a cover. One, two. They're just too far away for quote unquote Charlie to come in and break that up. Jay Leone on him with the front face lock. Shifts over to a snap suplex, nicely done. He's not gonna beat him there, this is early on yet. Jay up first, grabs that left arm. Gold drives him back, tags in the big boy. And yeah, here we go, they have to the count of five. Oh, that was not a kind form. And another, another, and yeah, it's a forearm party over there by quote-unquote Charlie Hustle. Jay Leone in trouble. Charlie fires him in. Oh, and they both go down. They both went down. Jay comes in and tries to steal it, only for a one count. Clothesline line by Hustle. Knocks Jay down. Okay. He got Jay up. Fires him into his corner. Tags to the man from Osaka, Japan, as he holds him for his, opponent, his partner. It's a kick to the solar plexus, and now he's on a field there on that midsection. Zero goal. Snap mare. Jay Leon's in trouble. Goes for a cover, hooks the leg, only a one and change count. It's still early, and uh, Jay Leone drives zero back, and here comes Jesse Danger. Oh, it's a nice double team move there after the count of five. Double elbow. And Jesse, rather than going for the pin, goes for the submission. That's going to confuse the man from Osaka, Japan, zero goal. Gold basically leans back in, gets him off the arm, fires him in, and I don't know what happened there, but it did not work out for Jesse. Gold is, it took a lot out of him too, apparently. Gold is the first one up, he's on Jesse's arm now. But he's too close to the corner of Jay Leon and Jesse Danger. As you can see, Jesse knows this and tags out to Jay. Here comes Jay Leone. Snap 
Mayor on zero gold. Cover. Nope. Overhand wrist. Still got that ring caught in half. He's not even in the middle of the ring, so he's nowhere near his corner. I think he said no. He's supposed to speak Japanese. I think he said no. Maybe he knows no. Maybe no uh, means no in Japan. Oh! And that's one way out of harm's way. Here comes the big boy. He's having a lot of fun. Way on on those rhomboids of Jay Leon. Big knee right into that same spot. Driving his knee into the spawn. Jay's in trouble, folks. Marcus out there barking orders, barking directions. Irish whip reverse. And look at Jay Leone. Oh, big man, fall hard. Two, no. Jay Leone. Up first, Jay Leone. Reverse. Oh, oh, to the floor he goes. And Charlie also, I don't know how the hell he pulled that out of his ass. We might see a count out win. No, he's up. <laughs> Jay with a shoulder to the stomach. Charlie goes down. Jay goes up and over to the middle of that ring. Impressive athleticism. Charlie and Jay get up about the same time. Jay Leon and Charlie going forward up that uh, collar and elbow. Charlie fires Jay in. Wow, he really took that corner home. that waist lock and look at Charlie Hustle out of harm's way. Waist lock by Zero Gold and that was a very aggressive takedown and knocked the wind out of Jay and Jesse's over there waiting for a tag. He's reaching out. Jay Leone will take advantage of that. Be the fresh guy in there. It was almost curtains for Jay but as it would be he locked out and few quick moves, some quick thinking, and he's out of harm's way. Jesse Danger in there chopping the piss. That is zero gold. There goes gold. Right into a scoop slam by Jesse Danger. Jesse points at Charlie Hustle. And there's a nice send time. And a couple. One, two, two count only. Still got a long way to go, guys. Gold drives Jesse back. Breaks clean. He heeded the referee's call. Oh, he, did. he hit him right in the side of the neck. Series of chops right by the jugger of the windpipe, side of the windpipe. Dreads his eyelids over the top rope. Give him the face full of buckle. But Jesse counters with a beautiful drop toe hold. Sending Zero Gold's face into the turnbuckle. The bottom one, now he's giving him a taste of the top one. There's another little taste of the top turnbuckle. Jesse picks him up and puts him on the top. And Gold adjusting his mask. Guess he's probably checking to see if his ears are still there. And Jesse nailed him right in the trap with that one. Jesse on the second rope. Gold sitting on the top. Quick gold thinking there as he delivers a shin to Jesse. And now we got some double teaming going on here. Oh, unbelievable strength. Look at him, he's doing sets. Oh, he messed up showing off again, and this might be it. One, two, oh, that would have been it. Jesse wisely tags out to Jay. Now all he's got to do is capitalize off of that big DDT with a beautiful inside cradle. Two count. 
Charlie Hustle. He is struggling, folks. Reverse. Big tackle. I, I, I changed what I said, man. He hit him with that tackle and almost took Jay out of his wrestling shoes. He knocked his kick pants crooked. Look at now they're taking out all their frustrations, their own failures, on Jay Leon. Look at this. That's just me. Marcus Smith out there in all his glory. Jay fighting across and up and over. That young man goes right into a quick schoolboy. He tried to steal it. He almost got it, too. Grabs the head. Makes the tag. How many lives does Jay Leon have, my friends? What's this? Double back soup. Jesse just got to cover him. One, two. Come on. That should have been it. That should have been it. Under the guise of Marcus the Kingsmith, a man with no integrity, is the only reason your winners aren't Jay and Jesse. And that was a bit of quick gold thinking here. While he's saying, please check to make sure my mask isn't untied. Here goes Marcus. The mask was a little off, but referee missed it. He missed it. He missed it. Jesse's been choked out in that middle rope, gasping for air in the corner. Couple of knees right in the solar plexus. I told you guys earlier, they got a command of the nerves and the glands. Soft spots. Here goes Jess. Oh, we might have it. One. No. Too close to the ropes, but innovative nonetheless. Uppercut. Ten minutes gone. Another uppercut. European uppercuts is the forearm. Fires him in. Stumbles out. Jets with a big tackle. Puts everything he has behind him. And no, close but no cigar. Nicely done. Actually, this has been a very good back and forth match. I'm not going to say either team has really shined yet, because they both shined. Here comes another double team move. Double clothesline, and that was nice sent on in a leg drop. One, two, no, that was all zero gold. Give the man credit, he's in decent shape out there. Jay Leon fires him in. Jay Leon got him up on his back for something. Big backbreaker. One, two, nope. Nicely done backbreaker, handed to zero gold, showing up tonight in shape. Jay Leon, fires him in, up and over goes the man from Japan, and flop drop, for a better lack of a better term, and Jay smacked the back of his head, gold is breathing, he can't get over there to cover it. It's not gonna work. Good job, Jay. It might be the definitive quote-unquote cutoff in this match. I don't see Jay coming back from that. He had no idea, so he couldn't even, like, put his hands down. He couldn't even, like, tuck his chin. Just boom, back of the head and neck. And now the monster comes in. 235 pounds, standing suplex. And that was beautiful. One, two, Jay Leon. You don't call him relentless for nothing. Chest first. Slam in the middle of that ring. Mark the Marcus the Science Smith directing traffic. Gold misses that elbow. He misses the other elbow. Jay Leon up to his feet in the corner, but gold there before he can uh, even recover. Before he can get a breath in, gold was knocking more breaths out. Oh, but Jay Leon with a little sidestep, a little clothesline. Fires a mid, no, reverse. Oh, Jay Leon back in there. Oh, that was aggressive. Oh, Jay doesn't know where he is right now. Tag is made. This is some smart wrestling on opposing team's part. 
they're going to try to hit it a double close line, and they got it. Look at Jay. Cover. One, two. Nope. Jay's just got too much gumption. Doesn't take away from the fact that hurt. He's in trouble. Nothing Jesse can do from over there except watch. Irish whip. Oh! Right in the bear hog. Not where you want to be. Not where you want to be. Look at those arms. Look at Jay's back. Jay is not a small guy. He goes about 205, 210, but he's fighting back. Those forearms are legal. He drove them back. Comes off the wall. Oh, look at the agility. Right back into it. He's applying it with more pressure than before. Jay. Jay is in trouble. Nothing Jesse can do but watch. We're going to find out what Jay's made of. We are going to find out what Jay's made of. He's trying to stay in this thing. He is trying to stay in this thing. Down drop once. Two, that's two. No, no. 15 minutes gone. Oh, and he's popping those ears. He's out of it. Drop down goes Charlie. Up goes Charlie. Oh, and he's right back into it. Jay gasping for air. The mouth is open. That's a sure sign he's in trouble. He might pass out. He might tap out. He's, he's cutting off the wind. And look at this. Oh, tags out to his partner. Holding him for him. Here goes zero gold. They actually are complimenting each other tonight. Gold backs him in, fires him off. And there it is, an ab stretch, an abdominal stretch. Going right back to that weakened lower back already by Charlie Hustle. Yes, they're complimenting each other tonight, dare I say it. I'm not gonna, I'm not sure if Marcus the Science Smith's direction has anything to do with it. But Jay's in trouble, that's the bottom line. Jesse looking on, ultimate faith in his partner. Jay is being broken in half. Wait a minute, gets his sea legs. Oh, but Zero holds on. Tags out to the bigger man. And here they go, they're gonna try their hand at double teaming again. Oh, that head toss is not what Jay needed. A cover, this might do it. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Two count only. Hand it to Jay. Oh, no. Good old-fashioned torture wreck. Shades of Lex Luger, my friends. How much can his back take? He's really in trouble, Jay. He's getting broken in half, basically, folks. That's a big boy. You wouldn't want to be in that situation, especially for all the punishment. Jay's back is taken. Marcus, the science smith in all his glory, couldn't be prouder if he had been the one in there with the uh, hold on. But Jay's not done yet. Jay's to his feet, comes off the ropes. He ducks his clothesline, ducks his elbow. Oh! That was ugly. That was ugly. Rolls him over. One, two, no. Two count only. Rolling him over, dropping some knees to the back, the lower back, it's already weakened. Let's see, what have they done to him up to this point? A bear hug, abdominal stretch, the torture rack. And now, not the camel clutch, but it's a chin lock with a knee right to that lower back in that sciatica area where the discs are. I know what it feels like to have a slipped disc. I know what it feels like to have a herniated disc. And look at Jay Leon, keep trying to fight back. The 235 pounder on his back, got him off his back. Now he's gotta get him off his neck somehow. Oh, and that was smart tag team wrestling. That was smart tag wrestling, folks. Oh, geez, he threw him in hard. Oh, straight into the mat. Nails Jesse. Jesse's not going to stand for this. Oh, Jess, though, you're not doing him any favors, my friend. Oh, this is not what Jay's lower back needed. 
This is not what Jay's lower back needed. There's the cover. One, two. The ref saw it. There's no tag. There's no tag. Referee Danny Dixon is, is holding, upholding the rules here. <laughs> he did not see that tag. The tag, there was no tag. He's making him switch as Jay is trying to make it over. Can he make it over? Nope. Legal man back in the ring. But Jay doesn't know where he is in the ring. He doesn't know where he's at. Oh! He's twerking. Jesse will not take that twerk. Look at him now. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong. It's on like Donkey Kong. Can Jay survive? Can Jay survive? It's three on one. It's three on one. Unbelievable. He's trying to get it out of that corner too. Oh, Jay Leon, back of the head, hits the mat and a cover, but a cocky one. That a boy, Jay. Good. Wipes the smile right off the face of the egomaniac, Charlie Hustle. Here goes Jesse. But there goes Charlie Hustle, back to that lower back of Jay Leon. 20 minutes on. Look at this is uncalled for. This is unnecessary. They're getting frustrated because they haven't been able to pin the young man. Oh, no. Jay, move! Oh, he couldn't. No wherewithal. No presence of mind. Cocky cover. He thinks he has this. Jay's got other plans. Danny Dixon's really got his hands full tonight in that ring with these four. Zero gold. Fires him off again. Oh, Jay Leon gets a ditch. Last ditch effort DDT. Reminds me of Silver King. Tag is made. Can Jay get over? No! I really thought they were going to make the tag there. Charlie Hustle, though, back in command. Charlie Hustle gets Jay up. Another standing soup coming. We'll find out. No! Jay Leone! Oh! He cut him off with a stunner. But can he make it? No! No, don't make, can he make it? No, no, I don't know if he can make it. Five, he's almost there, he's almost there. He's, oh, he made it, that, 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 that fucked everything. There's a nice drop kick, two drop kicks. Close line, close line. There's a big slam, and there's Charlie Hustle in the corner. He went down on a clothesline, I guess we'll call it. And now uh, all hell's breaking loose in there. They're all four in there at the same time. Jesse's calling for something. Here we go, double 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The double 10 count, wait a minute. They reversed, they flipped the script on him. <laughs> There's a four on each one, man, and they think they got this thing made. They switch guys, but well, wait a minute. They run them into each other. They come back again. Oh, I can't wait to see what's coming. Double reverse victory rolls. Your winners at 22 minutes and 30 seconds. The team of Jay Leon and Jesse Danger. I wonder what Marcus is saying to these guys. Just tuck tail and leave, fellas. There they go. All right, guys, those were your winners tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm really, really sorry about the late start. It couldn't be helped. We had technical difficulties, and it wasn't PPW Live. It was technical difficulties on our end, but we're going to get those smoothed out so it doesn't happen again. Hopefully, we didn't throw you off too much tonight. 
And uh, if you did miss any of it here on PPW Live, I'm sure it's up there for you to catch what you didn't miss because I think it stays up there permanently. Don't forget, tomorrow night, we've got Jose Acosta, El Guerrero, uh, the American Ninja Warrior, Semsei, going against each other one-on-one for a number one contenders matchup. The winner of that one gets to face Humac the following week for the championship. Uh, Premier Pro Wrestling on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapper Chat. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on Facebook, I told you that already. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And again, thank you for the support here on the PPW Live. If we don't see it tomorrow night, we'll see you next week.